Well, as we continue our special coverage of next month's Victorian local government elections, Labor has launched their campaign for Melbourne City Council. Phil Reid is running for the second election in a row as the party's endorsed candidate for Lord Mayor. He spoke to Six News about his party's policies and why they want to see Melbourne's electoral system reformed. We've got to ultimately rely on not just, um, I suppose it's that, that, that distinction between some of the candidacies where I would say they, they, they're making policies that appeal to media and appeal to mainstream media to try and get that cut through. Um, and again, that's why we're getting some of the bread and circuses because they're trying to get that publicity. So we, we've just got to run a, camp, a campaign that's grassroots, that's knocking on the doors of those residences knocking on the doors of business um, and try and try and get through. But certainly I think there's a clear point of distinction in our approach, which is to say we're not going to fall prey to this bread and circuses approach to try and get a headline and get a photo opportunity. We're going to stay true to our course, which is to, to focus on the issues and services that people want from council. How do you build a community? How do you get there? Obviously, you're very happy to run under a party banner and, and endorsed here. It's not as if, you know, you know, Labor member uh, not endorsed. Um, do, do you think there is a role? I mean, I, I imagine you must think there's some role if, if you're running as such. But, yeah, why, why do you think it is, you know, worth running with that kind of uh, party endorsement? It, it, it's been the same for 30 years. When I first ran for council, ran and won for a, a council election um, back in the 1990s, um, there were people at the time who waved their finger at me and was, you know, I said, you're a Labor guy and why would you bring politics into the council chamber? It's a political forum. So I don't shy away from the fact that, um, uh, that I'm a member of a political party. I like the unity of um, working with a group and having processes to resolve differences. You know, the comparison is if you look at... Um, the two key opponents here in the city of Melbourne at the moment, um, so the two, theoretically, the lead candidates, according to some, for the Lord Mayoralty, Aaron Wood and Nick Rees, they both started um, or found their way into the council chamber as members of the same team, members of Robert Doyle's team, I might add, and they've since split. You've now got Nick running with a member of the Liberal, the Liberal Party as his, um, as his deputy candidate, um, I just don't see how you can create cohesion and stability with that. So I'm quite happy to work as part of a, a party ticket. I'm very proud to lead that party ticket because I think it gives us an opportunity to provide more cohesion and more stability. And, um, you know, I, I, I'm, I can't shy away from my political stripes. I'm, I'm quite proud of them. They've stood me in very good stead and been a, a really good North Star for me over my uh, political and public life. Just one thing on the Melbourne electoral system, right? It's it's a bit unique in terms of of uh, it gives businesses two votes. There's also yeah. still group voting tickets. Um, and I know uh, that council did pass a motion, I think a couple of years ago, that called for an overhaul of that. That has not happened. Um, do you think it's fair that businesses get two votes and that you know preferences can go whichever way under the group system for the council of vote? No, we're 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 quite um uh, we're we're quite vocal about the fact that there needs to be reform of the electoral system. Um, the notion of one vote, one value, uh, should should predominate in all elections. Um, I accept that uh, ratepayers and businesses have traditionally had a vote in council elections, and I accept that. But I think the the notion of one vote, one value, um, provides a much fairer system, and I think we 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 see that. So. Funnily enough, I, in some ways, and whether it's a capital city uh, issue, um, I don't know, people seem to constantly try and tinker with the capital city voting system to create stability here. And, and I wonder if we don't destabilise it in, in some of those, um, the tinkering that goes on. So let's just get it back to basics, um, a one vote, one value, uh, and have a, a much more straightforward and structured system.